Hello, welcome to my cooking class. It's Jacqueline. It's Thursday. It's 3 p.m. Thursday and I'm ready to go live. How about you? So I don't know if you saw my post, but oh my gosh, I was just thinking about how expensive groceries are. I actually went to the grocery store today just to grab a couple things. Actually, when I say couple, I needed mushrooms and I actually thought I would get butter. I was shocked. If you can believe, butter in my little grocery store was $8.40, I think it was 49 cents. Ridiculous. So anyway, I am not gonna be cooking with butter. I am not buying butter, but I will give you a quick tip on this. You can freeze butter. So when you see it on sale, do yourself a favor and freeze it. And by the way, that $8.49 butter was not unsalted. It was salted butter. That's ridiculous. Hey, Shen, uh, Charlene, nice to see you. So let's get started with my cooking class. I'm trying to save you money. I'm trying to put a fast meal on the table that your family's going to love. I believe you're going to love this. I actually served it to my leaders who were um, at my home this just this last week. And I'm going to be showcasing some product that's leaving the line. Yes, we've got some products that are discounted right now up to 20%. They're in our vault list. So go to my e-commerce website and uh, go check out what's on for sale, okay? The one, the product that I'm going to be using today is our ancho lime. I, I debated, in fact, I was chatting with my assistant and it's like, is it gonna be salmon? Is it gonna be ancho lime? I like things with a little bit of kick. That's why I call my car spicy. So let's get started. So I didn't want you to um, have to watch pasta cook. So I actually have the pasta started early. And here's the tip on pasta. Hi, Linda. Um, when you're making your pasta, don't throw your salt in your, in your water until it starts boiling because salt is corrosive and salt will eat the bottom of your pan. So wait till it's boiling so it's actually not sitting on the bottom corroding your pots because I don't know if you're like me, but I spend money on pots. So ready? Let's get going. I'm just checking my pasta. We want pasta al dente, by the way, and I'm going to give you some quick tips about al dente um, and what type of pasta you should get. Your pasta, mine's almost done, so we get a, better get this cooking class done quick. Um, it, it should be sort of hard. Like you don't want it, it's, it's not quite, I've got about another couple minutes, I think, on this. But uh, you don't want to overcook this. And for those of you who are doing freezer meals and thinking you want to make extra, do double, triple the recipe and uh, freeze it. But make sure your pasta isn't overcooked because if you're heating it again, then it's just going to be... Mm, I don't know, sloppy, soft, icky. You know what I'm going, where I'm going with that. So let's get started. I'm also going to be making mac and cheese. And our mac and cheese, usually we put it with butter. You don't need butter. It's optional. I've just got milk. You can use any type of milk you want. This is going to be our sauce. And if any of you are really lucky... When we had our cute little mini whisk, this is where this comes in really handy, um, use this. I use this little thing in my kitchen all the time and I just wanna give you a heads up. If you're a customer of mine and you don't have one of these mini whisks, go join my VIP Facebook group. If you don't know how to get there, ask. Just post below. Cause I'm going to be giving away six of these little things, six of them. So six lucky people are going to get this. Um, so what, what you need to do is I want to save you money. Go check out the discounted product. And by placing an order between now and the end of a Sunday, I'm going to put your name into a draw. So go, go grab some freebies while they're available. Setting this aside. Wasn't that easy? Welcome to the life of Epicure. Getting my saute pan going here, and this saute pan is one of our higher priced items. I love it. Saving you money, folks. Uh, collect some orders from your friends and family and get your product free or discounted, okay? I've got a white onion here. Little tip on this, don't cut off this end. I use it, it's really good for just keeping your onion together. So I'm just gonna do some little slices and chops. I'm using my ceramic knife, if you happen to have that handy. You could have used the four-in-one mandolin, by the way. 
I just want a little bit of onion in here. And we're just going to chop that up. Because I do love the flavor of onion. If you don't want to chop onion, feel free to use um, our three onion in here. And did you know we have a staple of basic called toasted onion? You could do that as well. I love the flavor of onion. Mm -mm -mm. I chatted with you. Hi, Allison and Jill and Lisa. Okay, uh, a few weeks ago, I also talked about what kind of mushrooms to buy. You can buy white mushrooms and you can buy brown mushrooms. And I'm going to tell you, buy brown. They're usually exactly the same price. Exactly the same price but they're way more flavorful. Brown onions or white onions, but most of the moisture, they're older. Most of the moisture has gone out of them. You know that when you cook with onions, they're just full of water anyway. So by them drying and getting older, you've actually got more flavor packed right inside these. So if you get a chance, get your brown mushrooms, okay? Did I say onions? I'm talking onions. So we're just gonna put these in little slices. I like putting them in little quarters. And you can see how dense, like look at how dense these are. What a difference, hey? So you will get a much um, more robust mushroom flavor by using these. I've chopped up a whole bunch again. I didn't think you guys really needed to see me chopping. Let's just speed up the process. I know everyone's busy this time of year. So I've got my saute spoon, uh, and how lucky are we that you can actually purchase these individually now. And I'm going to add some of my ancho lime, and I'm going to add a little bit of oil because I don't, didn't want to use the butter. Really, don't need butter. I had a little bit of oil in there already, but I do want to make sure that I've got enough in there to get the mushrooms cooking well. Oops. Didn't chop that very well, did I? So what questions do you have? Hi, Auntie Hazel. Just watching me cooking from Northern Alberta. Okay, so I'm gonna just let this sweat for just a quick second, I'm going to add, get my four in one spoon. This is our ancho lime. Some of you may be asking, how hot is this? Ancho lime is poblano. Um, it's a poblano chili that is ripe. And the lar usually, the larger the pepper or that you're purchasing, the milder it gets. So, you know, you can get those little tiny, really, really hot peppers. This is actually quite mild, but it does have a nice bit of a kick. So you're going to grab your four in one spoon, which I've got to go grab here. I thought I was organized. Obviously not. Remember this four in one spoon has a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and you flip it over. It's indented. I don't know if you can see that. So it's half and a quarter teaspoon. And I'm going to add, well, let me measure properly. I'm going to add two teaspoons. That's about the amount that I want to add a kick to this. You're in control of the heat, remember, so the more you put in, the hotter you can make it. And if you're nervous about putting this in, don't. It is really nice flavor. Hello, Miss Jill and Allison. Oh, gosh, if you can smell it in this house already. Loving this. Okay, I don't want to overcook my pasta. I'm sure it's probably done. Don't know if you saw me earlier with my grip and grabs. These are quite handy to make sure. I'm not. You can see that it's still al dente. It's still got some form to it, but it is cooked now, so we are perfect. So I'm just going to drain this. I know you can't see this from a distance. I just want to also let you know, when you're draining your pasta, always keep about a cup of your pasta sauce, especially seeing we're not keeping, um, putting butter in this. We probably will have to use some of that flavoring or the liquid to make sure that our sauce is the right consistency. Just give me a second, I just gotta set this aside.
Now, when you're using, getting your cup of extra liquid, uh, like I said, make sure you set it off to the side. Use your ladle. This ladle is brilliant. It holds about a half, half to a third of a cup. So it's a nice size ladle. Okay, so we've got this going. I wanted to add shrimp to this as well. Shrimp cooks really fast. Here's the fun food fact about shrimp. Of course, do you buy it with or without the shells? You know, the, the actual shell and tail, you've probably seen it in the grocery store. I'm curious, let me know, post below. Do you buy your shrimp with the shell on or off? There's no right or wrong answer, so don't feel bad in answering. Jackie, what are your thoughts? Wendy, with or without the shell? Trying to see if I can see anyone replying here. I just wanted to let you know, I'm a big fan of buying it with the shell on. And here's, here's how come. Um, I find shrimp is very tender and a very delicate uh, protein. And so I tend to buy them with the shell on. And it's, it's to, in my opinion, to protect it. I, however, hate picking through a thing like lasagna with the shell on it. I just think, eh. But that being said, for those of you who really want to um, get every single bit of value out of it, keep your, your um, shell from your shrimp and make a broth. And it makes a great chowder base so you don't have to be buying chowder. You can see how quickly this is cooking. And don't you love how these uh, grip and grabs work so well? So I'm also going to add some frozen peas because I just think it looks really nice. And I haven't thawed them out at all. I'm just gonna add them in here. It doesn't take any time for these to cook. But I do have my shrimp all cooked now. And by putting those peas in there, it's going to stop my shrimp from overcooking in my opinion. And then I'm gonna be putting my pasta sauce in here really quick as well. It's coming together pretty fast, isn't it? We're at three minutes and 12 seconds and I've just been chit-chatting with you. So let me talk about pasta. Okay, so I had said I'd cook the pasta up in advance and you can get different pastas on the market and I've, I've tried many. This is actually one of my favorite brands. I, it is not overpriced, but it, will, it, it usually does not go on sale. But what I love about this pasta in particular is um, it actually says right on the package, brawn dye pasta, bronze dye pasta. That means it goes through a very old process of being made. And you will actually, feel, like if you were here to feel it, you can actually feel how rough the outside is. It's not um, slippery like the other ones. And I love this in particular because I find that the, your sauce sticks to it better because it does have that roughness to it. So let's just get my pasta here. I'm gonna dump this in. Don't wanna leave any little strands in there. Love my pasta. Okay, in goes our sauce. And for those of you who like it really cheesy, feel free to add more, you know, do a double recipe of this. I just wanted a nice light pasta. Now it's quite thick right now, as you can see, like I'm just gonna grab my, my tongs and you can see, this is how you're going to make sure that you've got enough liquid in here so that it's cooked up super nice, tasty. Doesn't this look great? Who knew that you can make such an amazing pasta in, in minutes? And, and you will think uh, that you're the, the great chef because the flavor in here is brilliant. So I would, in my opinion, at this point, this is when you're gonna add a little bit. I don't think I need much. I'm gonna use about one scoop. And if you are planning on freezing this, you're probably going to want to add not like add a little bit extra because your pasta is going to absorb the liquid and you might as well get the liquid flavoring from your 
pasta pot. So this is basically done. You may want to put some additional Parmesan cheese if you want. You could also put on peppers. I'm just going to plate this because I know how good this tastes. So I like using uh, a dark color bowl. You don't have to have any particular color, but I do like what it looks like. So we're just gonna grab some of this. We're gonna make sure we've got some shrimp in here. Oops. And the other thing that you can um, make sure that you do is um, put a little bit of maybe parsley on top. If you don't have parsley, maybe some chopped up um, onion. I actually have parsley, I grow it all the time. Just set it on side. Remember people eat with their eyes. And there you go. You have an amazing linguine um, that's cheesy, but it's got that little bit of kick with our ancho lime seasoning. So looks great, right? So make sure you grab your ancho lime before it's gone. This is a seasonal item. You do not want to miss out. As you can see, it doesn't have to be just for the barbecue. It is really nice flavoring. So take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's cooking class. I'm just going to turn everything off, and you know what I'm having for dinner. What are you having for dinner? Good to see you guys. We'll see you again next, next Thursday. Bye for now.